Hi everyone, Richard from Sabre Education here and on our tutorial this session we're going to be looking at my technique Strawberry Fields Forever. We're going to look at using the Joico colour system and all our Joico styling and care products. We are going to do something that's going to be really great for changing season for your blonde clients that can give them a demi-permanent option to go a little bit copper, a little bit strawberry, which is great because being a demi, it's going to fade out and they will still stay blonde. We'll also look at the technique, which is really versatile for lots of different salon applications. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If there's got any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'll be here to answer all your questions. We'll see you soon. We've got a level nine blonde mannequin to work with here and you can see the sectioning pattern. This is all about creating a curved advanced T-section pattern. The idea is that you want the front hairline, the central parting or wherever they part their hair and the crown to be sectioned out at the top and then everything underneath and that becomes your ability to divide the hair into two, the top section is where the regrowth is and that'll never be noticeable depending on what you use up there. Quite often this is a technique that can be used in salon just for your regrowth applications of grey coverage and then underneath that's where you create your fashion or your balayage effects underneath. So I'm just showing you here how to section up. You divide it through the centre and then create the curves. Clip away. Now we're using Joico's LumiShine Liquid Demi Colors for the whole color here. We're going for slightly lighter underneath with a slightly deeper tone on top, working from deeper at the roots to lighter on the ends. We've got in the underneath color, which I'll be doing first, we've got 8NC at the roots and 10NC at the ends. On the top, we've got 7NC blending into the 8NC. And prior to our color application, going to use the Joico Defy Damage Pro Series 1 spray, sectioning the hair up and using short sharp bursts to apply all through. I'll apply it all underneath, then colour and then I'll apply on top. Okay, so now we're going to apply the LumaShine Liquid Demis to our mannequin. The underneath section, the roots is the 8 NC and the ends is the 10 NC. And I'm applying with a bowl and brush for the roots and I'll use the bottle uh, technique for the ends. The idea with this choosing these color tones today is to think of a client that has been blonde for a long time. It really wants a change, but as you know, with a lot of blondes, a subtle change can feel quite extreme to them. So we're sticking with um, the liquid demis purely because we know that they're going to fade out over time. And in time, if she wants to be blonde again, it's gonna be completely simple to um, let that fade out, to add some foils, do some balayage. But also, this is a perfect um, fashion shade for coming into autumn. We've got those subtle copper tones to creating a strawberry blonde effect. So I'm just working around applying the root area and shortly I will be applying the 10 NC as you can see into the mid length to ends. Really simple technique, just squirt your bottle in a little bit of a zigzag te technique through your mid length to ends. Use your fingers and your comb to just blend those two together. I like to lay a foil down just to create a really high end clean effect whenever I'm doing colour work, trying to keep everything as neat as possible, uh, whether it's on a mannequin or on a client, obviously. So working onto the other side of the section, you can see there how I'm combing through, just trying to get a blend between the level 8 on the roots and the level 10 through the mid lengths to ends. Okay, so just keeping it neat by folding those foils in and applying a foil to separate the top from the bottom. 
Now we're going to use the Defy Damage to apply to the top section, always using Defy Damage Pro Series 1 prior to colour application, and we'll use Pro Series 2 um, as the last step at the basin. Now, the top section is 7NC Liquid Demi, applied with a bowl and brush to the root area. Same again, between two and four centimeter regrowth, um, it'll get stretched through, so a little bit of variation is actually a good thing quite often. So don't feel like you have to do exactly the same regrowth amount for each section that you do. Quite often, the more variation, the better the blend. Combing it through, and now we're gonna use the bottle to apply the 8NC through the mid lengths to ends. And once again, using a foil to just keep it nice and neat. When you've got a client in the chair, the last thing you want is hair dripping down on their forehead, or um, I don't like even having the gowns dirty. So using the foil like this keeps it nice and um, neat. And it makes this kind of work, which is actually quite simple, look a lot more expensive than what it is. So there we will now process for the full 35 minutes, which is maximum timing for the LumiShine Liquid Demis, which gets mixed with the LumiShine 5 Vol Cream Developer. Blow drying there and then using our Heat Hero as a heat protectant prior to any styling work with any thermal styling tools. So I use the Heat Hero in each section prior to using the thermal tool. Actually, before the Heat Hero, um, prior to the blow dry, we used the Dream Blowout um, Cream, which is absolutely beautiful, just to give you a nice slip with the brush. I did a um, very simple wrap dry on the mannequin, and prior to getting a little bit of smoothness with our Heat Hero and some smoothing irons. see the subtle root shadow at the roots blending into the mid lengths to ends. I just feel like the LumiShine Liquid Demis, the natural copper tones are so lovely, giving you a beautiful strawberry blonde effect and they will fade out for your blondes to keep them really light coming back into the summer months. To finish the result, we used the Blonde Life Brightening Veil to give it UV protection and high shine. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Feel free to leave your comments down below and thanks for watching.